thought it was over. And I did too. But as it turns out, we can never get a break, can we? Nope. Not these days, because it's always the VR game, or the AR game, or the books. And, uh, yeah, today it's it's more information on, on the upcoming books. Now again, I'm super, super excited. But oh my god, literally every single day we are getting news. This is crazy. This is an absolute first in the franchise. More than five years, and we are getting news every single day for the past, like, two weeks or like a week and a half. It's been insane. Today we have some news on the Silverized graphic novel. Um, we have a few sneak previews of what is to come. Um, shoot, I don't actually remember the release date. Let me check. Yeah, so today we're going to look over the first couple of pages in the Silverized graphic novel just to get a little sneak peek of what's to come before it releases on December 26th of this year. So mark your calendars because that is only a few months away. Um, I saw a tweet today that Christmas is 100 days away, so that means we are 101 days away from its release, so nearly in double digits, which is very, very exciting. Let me just say, I've seen the preview for the book. Uh, it shows um, six pages, I think. Yeah, six pages. And they look absolutely phenomenal. If you own the original, hold on. If you own the original, then you are going to love love this graphic novel and I promise you that okay you're gonna see what I mean when we get into the pages but oh my god they are so so well made and we are so lucky to have someone as talented and as hard working as pinky pills to be working on this graphic novel I think that's about it for the introduction so let's just jump into the pages and see what we can find so using the first link in the description will bring you to a site called book manager and I believe we've explored this site at least once or twice in the past for these books um, it, it can be very helpful for information such as the uh, the genre the publishers the authors all that stuff it can be super super helpful yeah like here paperback 192 pages the FNAF series publisher release date audience subjects and all that good stuff that you want to know when buying a book gives great information on the authors like Scott Claudia and Kira like where they're from and what they um, what they do in their life and what they've done previously and then also a nice description of the book. The description for the graphic novel is the exact same as the Silver Eyes, but it does, ha um, does have something a little bit extra at the end. Complete with new information and tense, terrifying illustrations, fans won't want to miss this graphic novel adaptation by Scott Cawthon, Kira Breedersley, and Claudia Schroeder. Pretty sure I messed up a few of their names, but... I, that's the best I can do, because you guys know, suck at reading. Whose stunning artwork has been featured in the games. Yeah, so Claudia, if you guys don't know, is Pinky Pills, and she has done amazing artwork for the FNAF series, and I'm just really, really excited to see how this book turns out, because you see this button right here? Guess what it does? It brings us to the preview. So this is the start of the preview. As you can see, it already looks absolutely fantastic. Like I said earlier, we, um, the FNAF community is so, so lucky and honored to have someone as awesome as Claudia to be working on these illustrations. Because look at this, I'm pretty sure someone else did the coloring and I don't remember their name or even if, um, we know their name, but I'm pretty, pretty sure someone else did the coloring. So at the start of chapter one, it starts off with Charlie driving her car through Hurricane, and again, if you've read The Silver Eyes, you'll know that she is driving into Hurricane to visit her father's place. And we can see right here that she still has a few hours to kill, and she's talking to herself, saying, come on, Charlie, you know where you want to go. And she's obviously driving around Hurricane, trying to find her father's house, and we can see right here that she does in fact find it. Inside, the house doesn't look like it's in the best condition. You can see some cobwebs up here, some drywall peeking out right here, as well as some cracks, and just overall, it doesn't look like the house is in a good state. Right here, we can see a pool of blood, which, spoiler alert, that is in fact Henry's blood. That is where he got killed. Um, Charlie's going upstairs, and onto the next page, we'll, we can see where she's going. She's going to a bedroom, obviously, because that's where she spent a lot of her childhood, as well as in the garage where Henry was walking on the characters, which we will see later. Charlie enters her room, we can see her bed, and on her bed, we can see Stanley. 
Next to her bed, we've got Theodore, and she greets both of them with a nice, friendly hello. So Charlie walks into her room, greets Stanley and Theodore, as we've mentioned, and, you know, she's like, Stanley and Theodore, you know, I haven't seen you guys in a long time. She walks up to Stanley, says, you need a new coat of paint. Stanley, coat of paint, not coat. She presses the little button on her bed, and Ella comes out of her closet. Charlotte greets her by saying, hi, Ella, and we get some nice shots of Ella, you know, moving on her track moving towards um, Charlie and sorry I keep bouncing back and forth between Charlotte and, Ch and Charlie I'm sorry she gets a flashback to when she was younger uh, in her bedroom with John this is John he's saying why why do you have three closets and Charlie in her flashback is remembering all of this and she's saying to herself I remember showing these closets to John and then of course the flashback doing a really bad job at explaining this you guys can see all this anyway so yeah on to the last page page three or well, I guess pages nine and ten Charlie picks up Theodore and he spurts out I of why Lee, which, if you guys don't know in the books, he's meant to say, I love you, Charlie, and I believe it's his, um, Charlie's father's voice who is saying that, and, uh, I guess that's basically confirmed right here when we get another flashback, this time of Charlie in her dad's garage where he's walking on, presumably, Theodore, um, and, you know, Charlie is like, I love you too, Dad, which, you know... <laughs> Hits her right here in the fields, you know. She puts Theodore down, she leaves the house, and we get a cut to one hour later where she's driving up to the Hurricane Diner to meet with her friends. Now, I'm not entirely sure who is who here. I think this might be John and this might be Carlton, but I'm not quite sure. I know this, I know for a fact that this is Jessica, because there's three females in the book. Jessica, Charlie, and Marla. Marla doesn't show up till much, much later, I know that. And Charlie, of course, we know what her, we, we know what she looks like, so this is Jessica. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna go out and say that this is John and this is Carlton. I don't know if that's one hundred percent right, but that's what I'm going with. Looking through the window, Charlie says to herself that it's been a while seeing all all of her friends. I believe it's been ten years since uh, she's seen everyone, so yeah, this is a big turning point in the book where everyone gets reunited and, you know, they go all on the wacky adventures in in the Silver Eye. So, again, if you have read the original book, this book, uh, I know the cover may be different for some of you guys, but if you've read the Silver Eyes, trust me, you're going to love this because, as stated in the description right uh, back here, uh, it has new information and tense, terrifying illustrations. So. I'm really, really excited for this, again, December 26th of this year. Yeah, so I'm super, super, super excited. December 26th, I know I've said this so many times, but please mark your calendars, because this book looks absolutely phenomenal. And again, we're so lucky to have someone as talented and as hardworking as Pinky Pills working on this. If you're somehow watching this, you're doing a phenomenal job. Keep it up, you are absolutely amazing. And I really, really cannot wait for this book. So that's it. Thanks everyone so much for watching again. Hopefully I'm going to be able to link the images by themselves down below, but if I can't, the site will of course be linked down below. So thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.